Good morning and welcome to Sunday morning prayer, the Office of Lords, the traditional prayer of monastics in the Catholic Christian tradition. And today is a beautiful day, not just with the sun shining, but it is the feast of the divine mercy of Christ, originally started by a young, uneducated Polish nun, Sister Faustina Kowalska, who was later made a saint by the late Pope John Paul II. It is a beautiful devotion, but the core values of this amazing feast is to share the mercy and unforgiveness of Christ to all of us, and more so to those who feel that they're hardened sinners. So we celebrate our prayer today <clears throat> for the whole family of God. And as we light this light, we pray that the mercy and the forgiveness of Christ will touch every heart, especially hardened hearts and those who sit in judgment on God's children and for God's children who do not show mercy or forgiveness compassion themselves may be because they're locked in that mindset of fear unforgiveness and hate so we celebrate Christ's mercy and forgiveness on Mercy Sunday and we begin the Lord has truly risen from the dead and today he reveals to us <clears throat> a heart filled with his mercy and forgiveness. Come, let us adore him. Alleluia. O God, come to my aid. O Lord, make haste and help me. Glory be to the Father, Mother, God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, World without end. Amen. At the Lamb's high feast we sing praise to our victorious King, who hath washed us in the tide flowing from his pure side. Praise we him whose love divine gives the guests his blood for wine, gives his body for the feast, love the victim, love the priest. Where the paschal blood is poured, dirt Death's dark angel sheathes his sword. Israel's hosts triumphant go through the wave that drowns the foe. Isn't that beautiful? And now for the first antiphon, and the antiphons and psalms are of Easter Sunday. Christ has risen. He is the light of his people whom he has redeemed with his blood. And now, our first psalm is Psalm 62, and we're going to go to Psalms now for the modern version of Psalm 62. As for me, my heart waits on God. I know that my salvation comes from him. I may change my views about many things, but as for my need for God and his love, that is one conviction which shall never change. There are many who would like to sabotage a man's deepest convictions with the skillful use of words and logic. They try to destroy the very foundations of his faith. As for me, my heart waits on God. He is my hope and my help. The temporal values that men focus on are so quickly lost amidst the tempests of this life. Their highest aspirations burst forth like bright flares, only to fizzle out like wet fuses. But my God offers a security that is eternal. It cannot be logically defined, but it can be experienced. Commit your life to him, and you shall discover an anchor that will hold firm despite the chaos of this existence or the prattle of godless intellectuals. Isn't that a, a rousing sound? 
the prattling of godless intellectual. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God. <clears throat> As it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Christ has risen. He is the light of his people, whom he has redeemed with his blood. Alleluia. And the second antiphon, Christ, our Redeemer, has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn to the Lord our God. And now we have a canticle reading from the prophet Daniel. O all you works of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you the angels of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you the heavens of the Lord, O bless the Lord, and you clouds of the sky, O bless the Lord, and you all armies of the Lord, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise for ever. And you, sun and moon, O bless the Lord, and you, the stars of heaven, O bless the Lord, and you, showers and rain, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you, all you breezes and winds, O bless the Lord, and you, fire and heat, O bless the Lord, and you, cold and heat, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you showers and dew, O bless the Lord, and you frosts and cold, O bless the Lord. And you frosts and snow, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. And you night time and day, O bless the Lord, and you darkness and light, O bless the Lord. And you lightnings and clouds, O bless the Lord, to him be highest glory and praise forever. O let the earth bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you mountains and hills, O oh bless the Lord. And you all plants of the earth, O oh bless the Lord. And you fountains and springs, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you rivers and seas, O oh bless the Lord. And you creatures of the sea, O oh bless the Lord. And you every bird in the sky, O oh bless the Lord. And you wild beasts and tame, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you children of men, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. O oh Israel, bless the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you priests of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. And you servants of the Lord, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. And you spirits and souls of the just, O oh bless the Lord. And you holy and humble of heart, O oh bless the Lord. And Ananias, Caesarius, Misael, O oh bless the Lord. To him be highest glory and praise forever. Let us praise the Father, Mother, God, the Son and Holy Spirit. To you be highest glory and praise forever. May you be blessed, O oh Lord, in the heavens. To you be highest glory and praise forever. And now we omit the Gloria and we go straight to the Antiphon. Christ our Redeemer has risen from the tomb. Let us sing a hymn to the Lord our God. Alleluia. And the third Antiphon. Alleluia. The Lord has risen as he promised. And now we have a reading. Psalm 149. And we're going to go to the modern version of Psalms now by Reverend Leslie Brand. Psalm 149. How good it is to celebrate God's presence and to sing his praises throughout each day. We celebrate what he has done for man through history, his creation of our world and the sun and the moon and the unnumbered stars that light up our universe his creatures that swim and crawl and walk and fly upon our planet, his children destined to enjoy these great gifts about them. We praise him for dealing with create creature man through his blessings heaped upon him, his revelations through signs and wonders, his tender love and gentle concern in his caring for him. We praise him for his devoted servants who communicate his word 
who performed his miracles, who brought his healing to men's hurts. We celebrate his continued blessings to our world, the flowers that bloom in glorious color, the rains that freshen the earth, and the birds that fill the air with song. We give thanks for his perpetual love, his forgiveness of man's sin, his pursuit of those who run from him, his reaching out to heal them and to draw them to himself. We call upon all men and women to praise the Lord, those who preach to proclaim his love, those who sing to glorify his name, those who can shout or whistle or write or paint or dance or play musical instruments or pound on the drums or ring bells to join in celebrating the majesty of our great and loving God. And now we pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. And we repeat the antiphon for Easter Sunday. Alleluia, the Lord has risen as he promised. Alleluia. And now we have a special reading for this Sunday morning. And it's from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 10, verses 40 to 43. God raised Jesus from death on the third day and caused him to appear. He was not seen by all the people, but only by us who are the witnesses that God has already chosen. We ate and drank with him after God raised him from death. And he commanded us to preach the gospel to the people and to testify that he is the one whom God has appointed judge of the living and the dead. All the prophets spoke about him, saying that everyone who believes in him will have his sins forgiven through the power of his name. <clears throat> this is the word of the Lord. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. And in place of the short responsory, we read the following antiphon. This is the day which was made by the Lord. Let us rejoice and be glad. Alleluia. And the Benedictus Antiphon, put your hand here and see the mark of the nails. Doubt no longer, but believe. And now, my dear brothers and sisters, I invite you to join me for the beautiful canticle, the Benedictus, the Canticle of Zechariah. Blessed be the Lord, the God of Israel. He has visited his people and he has redeemed them. He has raised up for us a mighty Savior in the house of David his servant, as he promised through his prophets from of old, a Savior who would free us from our sin, from the hands of all our enemies. So his love for our fathers is revealed and his holy covenant remembered. He swore to Abraham our father to grant us that free from fear and safe from the hands of our enemies, we might serve him in holiness and justice all the days of our life in his presence. And as for you, little child, you shall become a prophet of God the Most High. You shall go before the Lord to prepare his ways before him, to make known to his people their salvation through forgiveness of their sin and the loving kindness of the heart of our God. Yes, the heart of our God, who visits us like the dawn from on high, and he will give light to those who sit in darkness and those who dwell in the shadow of death. He will guide them to the way of peace. Let us pray the Gloria. Glory be to the Father, Mother God, to the Lord Jesus Christ, our teacher, to the Holy Spirit of God, as it was in the beginning, is now, and ever shall be, world without end. <clears throat> Amen. Put your hand here and see the mark of the nails. Doubt no longer, but believe. Alleluia. <clears throat> and our intercessions this morning. Let us pray to a loving Father, Mother God, the all-powerful God, 
who raised up Jesus, our Prince and our Saviour, responds, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Father, Mother, God, you brought your beloved Son from the darkness of death to the light of glory. Let us enter into the regions of your own wonderful light. Response, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. You saved us through the faith, through faith in Jesus Christ. Help us to live today in the grace of our baptism. Response, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. You have told us to seek the things that are in heaven. Enable us to resist the attraction of sin. Response, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. Reveal the riches of our hidden life in Christ, that men may see the signs of the new heaven and the new earth. Response, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. And on this beautiful feast, Divine Mercy Sunday, we pray, Father, Mother, God, that your beloved Son, who gave his life for us and who now offers us his mercy and forgiveness, that many will come to his throne seeking that mercy and forgiveness and let no hardened sinner deny themselves this wonderful opportunity to be touched by such mercy and forgiving love. Response, glorify us, Lord, with the glory of Christ. And now, just for a moment, let us spend this time in prayer, bringing to our Father Mother God on this Feast of Divine Mercy Sunday, anything, everything, anyone, everyone that's causing you inner disquiet. So let us now name, bless and release all those issues to our Father Mother God and to do so and leave with God in that mindset of gratitude and love and keep saying thank you. So let us try it now. This morning, on this Feast of Divine Mercy, I bring the whole family of God, all faiths and none, all colours, all creeds and all lifestyle choices, to this throne of Christ's forgiving, merciful, compassionate love. I bring each one of you here, but I bring also the members of our community, both past and present, I bring our members who are in training, hopefully to take their vows this year or next. Dear Nancy in Mexico and her family, Sister Jackie and her family, especially her daughter Alexis and granddaughter in Idaho, Sister Jane in Coventry in the UK, for Sister Miriam in New Zealand, for Sister Buffy in New York, we remember dear Olivia, Sister Olivia and Teresa and especially Sister Diane and Sister Laura and we pray for their special intentions. For Sister Laura's husband David, for healing and for his two daughters Emma and Gail. We pray today also for our brothers, for Brother Rob and Paul and Paul is not feeling so good today with his tickly cough and cold. So we pray for Brother Paul, for Brother Murray for Brother Liam who works with the homeless in London. And we pray for Brother Matthew in Texas and for Brother Brian, our amazing Franciscan trucker who drives from one end of America to the other, looking for the homeless to give them a little pack and the prayer of St. Francis. What a beautiful man. But we remember also all our other brothers, Brother Paul, the founder of the Franciscan Hermits, from California, Brother Bjorn from the Monastery of the Servants of Peace in America. For all our many friends on social media, especially Brother Skip in America and Thomas Aquinas Q from either China or Singapore, I'm not quite sure. 
but for Caroline Burt on the Isle of Wight, for Sister Gonzalez, I think it's Sister Gonzalez. I always get it wrong. I'm a naughty. Let me just double check. Sister Corazon, forgive me, and her family, especially her son Daniel and her brother Fastiano. We remember too this morning Sister Jane's three contacts who she's asked for prayer for, and that's for Adrian, Harry and Audrey. But we remember dear Lucia from Italy and for all who are living with mental health issues because today in London is Marathon Sunday, the 34th Marathon in London. And the sun is shining. And the theme of this marathon is for mental health awareness where many are running for anyone affected by mental health issues. So we remember them. And we remember the great voluntary organizations that have helped me over the years for MIND and all the other charities that rely so much on, I think there's 20 or maybe 40,000 runners and each of them are sponsored to support God's suffering children. So we pray today a prayer of gratitude for those who are putting themselves through sheer torture. Because I think it's 22 miles all around scenic parts of London ending, ending at the Mall. But this morning is Mercy Sunday. So we bring those who've estranged their hearts from a loving God. Not the God of fear that many of us were brought up on but the God of love, Christ's love. I pray that within the Christian community that I belong to, that many more will become less judgmental, more forgiving, more tolerant, and especially compassionate, and to bring that mercy and forgiveness of Christ to them, to those whom they meet, those whom society rejects, the homeless, the drug addict, the sex worker, those in prison, those on death row. We pray for all our religious leaders, especially those who give lip service to God and who are more focused on appearances and dogma. But we pray for Pope Francis because he is a good man, for His Holiness the Dalai Lama and Thich Nhat Hanh. And we remember Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, our reigning monarch, who was 91 yesterday and who's head of the Church of England. And we give thanks to God for this amazing lady. So let us now just bring one another into this circle of Christ's love, the cosmic Christ, the physician of our soul. And whatever is troubling us, he asks us simply to name, bless and release it to God and to bless how we're feeling, to bless our ailments, our struggles, our misunderstandings and not to allow them take our energy from us. So when we bless them, that's good karma and then just release them to the light. Amen. Let us just be still for a moment and feel the healing touch, the healing power on this beautiful feast of Christ's mercy and forgiveness and love. Amen. So we now pray the traditional Lord's Prayer. Our Father and Mother God, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give to each one of us here today our daily bread. Forgive us our misdemeanors, our stubbornness of heart, for the times when we knew better than you and walked away. Forgive us the times when we failed in charity, when we were impatient, impetuous, arrogant, selfish. Lead us not astray but protect us from those negative forces that seek to alienate our heart of love from your cosmic heart of love. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. 
Amen. Amen. Now, there was a prayer. I've probably lost it. It was a prayer that I got from the internet this morning for and today for Mercy Sunday. Ah, it's not to be. So we'll pray one from the heart. Father, Mother, God, the God of many names, you have called each one of us here to come and celebrate your love for us. And though you allowed your son, the Christ, to incarnate as Jesus and to take on himself all our misdemeanors, we pray that we can adopt within our being a more compassionate, loving, forgiving, merciful heart to ourself and to others, and to be your hands and your feet and beating heart in this beautiful world, the Cathedral of God, but where many of your children are desecrating the sacred earth through selfishness and negativity and pure evil. Forgive us and empower those of us who are weary who are vulnerable and who are in need of your healing touch today. Amen. Amen. And now we close with just a simple blessing. In the name of our Father, Mother, God, in the presence of all the great spiritual teachers, ascended masters, in the presence of the angelic realm, the messengers of love, in the presence of Mother Earth, Kuan Yin, Magdalena, Gaia, Isis, in the presence of all who is, who are and who will come. We ask your blessing this day on all here. And we thank you, Father, Mother, God, for allowing us to share this wonderful Christian festival today, the festival of Christ's merciful love. For each one of us, amen. As I blow out this light, I ask the Christ to blow his love into your heart this day and reawaken you to the fullness of who you are, that you are royalty in God's kingdom. Amen. So go in peace to love and to serve our God. And we pray Namaste, Shalom, Inshallah, Paxet Bonum, Om Shanti, Solo di Caritas, Salam Alaikum, and may the peace of your God, Goddess, the God of many names, reawaken in your heart today that you are precious in the eyes of God, that you are loved regardless of how you feel, and that, yes, you are royalty in the kingdom of God. Amen. Thank you all for being here. Ah, oh dear, I forgot to say welcome, dear Sister Jane and Sister Sue. Forgive me. Oh, pray that the Pope's visit to Egypt. Oh, how wonderful. Oh, that's made my day to the rifts between the cup. Oh, praise you, Lord. Thank you, Jane, for sharing that. Oh, I am so pleased. Right, watch this space. Have a wonderful day, the two of you and all who are here. The sun is shining here in the monastery garden and there's a lot of work to be done to get all these little seedlings growing for our open weekend, end of August bank holiday to raise money for the Anthony Nolan Trust. So I'm afraid I'm going to go and love you and leave you. But I wish you a blessed day. And remember, Christ didn't just die, did he? He left us a gift to be merciful and forgiving and loving to ourselves and to each other. I love you all. And say a little prayer for me. God bless. Uh, <clears throat>